Science is an amazing thing. Success is an amazing thing. When you put them together, it becomes even more amazing. And that's what we're going to do in this video. I'm going to show you the secret science of success. Why science? Well, because science is observable, it's repeatable, and it's predictable. And so if you learn the science of a thing, you can do the same thing over and over and over again and get exactly the same results or very, very similar results. And so I'm going to teach you the secret science of success so that you know how to create success and put it on rinse and repeat versus doing it once and being a one hit wonder and not knowing how you did it and therefore not being able to do it again. So there are some scientific formulas and some scientific principles that we're gonna look to either overcome or apply. Well, what scientific principle are we looking to overcome? We're looking to overcome inertia. Now, what is inertia? Inertia states that an object at rest will remain at rest until and unless it's acted upon by an outside force. What does that mean? That means if you are not succeeding already, it's harder for you to succeed than it is for you to fail. Wrap your mind around what I just said. In fact, if you are already not succeeding, like struggle is easier for you to produce than success. Why? Because you have inertia. An object at rest will remain at rest until unless it's acted by, by, by an outside force. And it doesn't matter if it's financial inertia. It doesn't matter if it's health inertia. Like, it's harder for somebody who's out of shape to get in shape than it is for somebody who's in shape to get in better shape. Why? Because the person who's already in shape has fitness momentum. And so the objective is in, in, the, in the arena of success is to overcome success inertia and create success momentum. And momentum is the opposite of success. So what is momentum? Momentum is an object in motion will continue in motion until unless it's acted upon by an outside force as long as, well, I'm gonna tell you the rest of it in a little bit. So, so, so inertia, an object at rest. So if you think about an object at rest, if you have an object at rest and it's right here, and then you, as a person, you decide you want to you want to move this you want to move this object and you want to start rolling it. The hardest part of this whole journey is getting it to move a little bit at the beginning. The hardest part of your success journey is the beginning of your success journey. Why? Because you have inertia and you have no momentum. If I'm selling something and I'm having a conversation with somebody, my objective is to overcome their non-buying inertia and create buying momentum. It doesn't matter what the situation is. Like if, if money is not, like if you're broke, if you're broke, you have, you have financial inertia. And it's like an invisible, it's like, it's, it's, it's literally like an invisible wall that you can't get past until you get past it. And while you're pushing, while you're pushing with force on this, whatever this thing is you desire to move, it could be, it could be money, it could be relationships, it could be, it could be your health, it could be whatever. While you're pushing on this thing and getting, attempting to get it to move, it's resisting you simply because it's resisting you. No other reason. If you take a rocket, when we, we've all seen rockets launch, right? So when rockets launch and they've got these big, long rockets, uh, boosters, these big, long boosters, and they got this little capsule at the top, right? And most of that other stuff is filled with fuel. And 90% of the fuel is used to escape Earth's atmosphere. And, and the, the, the speed at which it has to go to escape Earth's atmosphere is called escape velocity, right? And see, here's what happens. We are so used to life not working that we don't have any escape velocity. And, and it's hard for us to believe that what's out there can be for us long enough to overcome the initial inertia and create some momentum so that we can break free. How many of y'all picking up what I'm putting down? Wave at me. Okay. And so, so I've got to keep doing this and pushing all of my force against this until I get it to move some. And here's, here's the interesting thing about this. It takes different people, right? It takes different people, different amounts of time to get this to move even a little bit. Why? Because an object at rest will remain at rest until it's, until it's acted upon by what? And outside what? Okay, outside, oops, outside force. Okay, 
Now, this is an interesting word because it's another scientific word. So what's the formula for force? Force equals M times A. What does that mean? Force equals mass times acceleration. Now, I know some of you are like, why is he talking to me about science? Because this is how life works. So if force equals mass times acceleration, if it's not moving, you have no acceleration yet, right? So you have to increase the mass so that ma the mass of who you are is greater than the mass of what it is so that this affects this instead of this affecting that. So you de your desire is to, for you to have to be an input for this, not for this to be an input for you. And so in order for that to happen, your mass has to increase. So you have to become a bigger, better version of yourself so that you can overcome the inertia of life not working. And that happens by you increasing your mass. And, and, and the faster you increase your mass, the more force you can apply to all of the obstacles that are attempting to stop you from achieving your objective. Now, I don't, see, like people look at me and I, I don't know how he does it. I, how did you do it? I'm 62. I've amassed a lot of psychological, emotional, mental, truth, mass in my life, and I've had enough time to create a lot of momentum, a lot of acceleration. So life happens for me very fast because I came at life by be, first by becoming bigger, a bigger version of myself, and then by accelerating the rate at which I attacked the obstacles in my life. And now, this, when I'm here, when I become bigger, it becomes easier for me to overcome this inertia. And then this invisible wall is no longer a wall. It's just, it's, it's, it's virtually non-existent. So, so my objective first and foremost is overcome inertia. So here's the thing we have to understand. And I think Les Brown was the first person I ever heard say this. It's the start that stops most people. Why? Because they don't understand this scientific formula. I've got to become more than I've been being so I can do more than I've been doing so I can ultimately have more than I've been having. I've got to become more. I've got to increase my mass. I've got to increase my acceleration. I've got to increase my mass and I've got to increase my mass faster. And then, so if, if you think about be, do, have, I've got to increase my being faster. I've got to be becoming more faster. That's why, like, you're here. You are literally here hoping that I will say something that will help you increase your mass, even if you don't know that's why you're here. You're watching this YouTube video hoping that I will say something that will help you increase your mass so that it helps you make moving this easier or more likely or more possible, right? The reason we read books is because we're hoping that the book is going to give me something that's going to increase my mass or increase my acceleration. That's, it's like the whole point. And then I become a force that overcomes inertia. And it's so cool because once I do, and this thing starts rolling, so it starts rolling, guess what happens as it starts rolling? It, it increases mass. So this is why, this is what, like if, if I were to draw a picture of success, this is what it would really look like. At the beginning, this is, how, this is how you turn um, inertia into momentum. You're pushing this object at rest up a hill. You are the outside force. Until you become bigger, it's not moving very much. This, and, and this right here, this mountain, is called Learning Curve Mountain, LCM. This is Learning Curve Mountain. And the bigger you get, you get closer and you get closer and you get closer. You get more tired and you get more tired and more exhausted. And you feel that, like... You, you almost feel like you're wasting your time. Anybody ever felt like that? Like I'm working on something and the thing I'm working on is not working. Like I started taking guitar lessons and all of a sudden my guitar teacher, he's throwing all these lessons at me. He's like, okay, now we're going to do triads. Now we're going to do sevenths. Okay, now we're going to learn intervals. Now we're going to learn circuit cycle fifths. Now we're going to learn cycle thirds. <laughs> and it feels like it's bigger than you. But never buy that lie. It costs too much. You will never face an obstacle that's bigger than you. 
Why? Because you are made in the image of God and it is not. Because you have a brain, it does not. So it doesn't matter what you face. You have to, be, you have to allow your awareness of who you are based on whose you are to, be, to inspire you to know that this is going to happen eventually. And guess what happens? Eventually, as we keep on growing and increasing our mass, F equals mass times acceleration. As we keep increasing our mass, we don't have much acceleration yet until we reach the tipping point. Boom. Then what happens? We get up here. This felt like success over here. This was like filled with struggle, right? Difficulty, right? Um, inertia. Like this had, this had all the yucky stuff. And then you get up here and all of a sudden you make it over, the, you make it past the learning curve. And then you start, you have, over here you have momentum. Well, guess what? When you have momentum, and if this were a snowball, if you throw a snowball at a house, what's, what can a snowball do to a house? Nothing, right? But if you have a house at the bottom of a hill, and you, have a, you roll a snowball down the hill, and the hill's big enough, there's enough snow in it, by the time the snowball gets down to the bottom of the, it's no longer a snowball, it's an avalanche. And so my objective is to last through this learning curve, overcome, overcome the inertia of starting, get to the tipping point, and then create enough momentum to create an avalanche of results in my life that are bigger than any obstacle that attempts to stop my momentum. See, so I told y'all earlier that momentum is an object in motion will increase, I mean, object in motion will continue in motion. motion. But here's what else it'll do. It will pick up speed and velocity, and it, depending on where it is, it can even pick up mass, right? Until and unless what? It's acted upon by an outside force. But only if the outside force that's acting on it is bigger than the momentum. Because we all have outside forces all the time, right? So if, if you have momentum and an outside force acts on you that's smaller than you, how many of you have ever been riding a bicycle and gotten bit by a mosquito? But it didn't stop your bicycle. Why? Because the mosquito didn't have enough mass. How many of you ever, how many of you ever been riding a bike and you got a, a, like a bug flew into your head, right? Or, or you're driving your car and a bug flies into your windshield. The car doesn't crash. Why? Because the bug doesn't have enough mass as an outside force to stop the momentum of the object in motion. So my objective in life is to always be increasing my mass Always be increasing my acceleration. The faster you learn, the more you earn. And then get to the place where I have so much momentum that most obstacles I will face in my life cannot stop my success momentum. And if you will apply this principle to every aspect of your life, your relationships, your health, your wealth, your business building, your finances, your wealth, all of it, you'll find yourself in a place where when you're on this side of the mountain, success feels easier, even at higher and higher levels than it ever felt when you're struggling. You'll get to the place where you'll realize what I mean when I say it's easier to make a lot of money in a short period of time than it is to make a little money over a long period of time. You'll realize what I mean when I say it's easier to make great strides than it is to make small advances. You'll understand what I'm talking about when I say it's easier for a person to succeed massively than it is for them to struggle the rest of their life. This is why that's true, but it's also why it doesn't feel like it. And this, when you really wrap your mind around it, is the secret science of success. I hope it blesses you. Stay blessed by the best. We'll see you in the next video.